Hello, hello, and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, Willow Riley, coming back at you with a new video. If you're new to my channel, enjoy a bit. You might enjoy it here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for all your likes, shares, and comments. That really helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos straight up to the top. Without further ado, today we're going to be getting into Scorpio Rising, Scorpio Rising, compatibility, relationships, marriage. Let's go. So if you're a woman or identify with a woman with Scorpio rising, a rising sign is your roadmap to life. It also represents your physical appearance, people's first impression of you. For example, I'm an Aquarius. So you would think people would be like, oh, they're really eccentric and quirky. Opposite. People see me as very shy, very reserved, a little bit mysterious, very alluring. I have the Scorpio uh, physical traits, which is a sharp jawline, really deep magnetic eyes, uh, a, sh a prominent nose, and then a very symmetrical face, right? And this is true for most Scorpio rising, if not all, you know, that's your physical t characteristics. And that's people people's first impression of you is you're mysterious, you're alluring, you're a little bit reserved. So with the Scorpio rising woman, this is a feminine sign. This is a water sign. This is receptive. And an evolved Scorpio rising woman will balance out her feminine and masculine side. Woo, there's a bug. Get out of here. <laughs> this is because although Scorpio rising is ruled by Pluto, which is a planet that is very far away, so it represents everything dark, hidden under the rug, our secrets, everything taboo, and darkness and transformation, intensity. It's also co-ruled co by Mars, and Mars is a planet that is masculine. It's our driving force. It is the warrior. It's ruled, it, Mars rules Aries, and Aries is very courageous, very masculine, very much a go-getter, very much in your face and blunt. You don't want to mess around with Aries. <laughs> so when a Scorpio rising has, uh, is a woman, she holds this powerful magnetic intuitive feminine essence where you know how some people listen and they're just waiting to say their side of the conversation or add to it the scorpio rising woman is different is is in the way that she she listens in order for you to be heard she holds space for you a scorpio rising woman who's in touch with her femininity her water her water sign her emotions who has went to therapy or just read a lot of self-help books and done that self-evolution is very, very powerful because she will listen to hear you. She will provide space for you. You feel like you're in a therapy session, right? But also she is masculine and with her Mars and she's a go-getter. She realizes that life just doesn't hand us things, that you've got to go out and get it, that you've got to take risks. Because when we think of Aries, that's courageous, that's the leader, that's the pioneer, that's a risk taker. So with that highly, that push of Mars, this woman is going to be very assertive, a very opinionated, uh, very much a go-getter, could be having their own business. They, they do things differently than most people. And I, I say that they are their own, they start their own business because they don't really like being told what to do. <laughs> Especially if they have Aquarius in their chart, they really don't like it. But anyway, let's get to the man. So the man is very similar to a little bit different. He might have a little bit more of that Mars force in him, but he is also very feminine. He is also a shoulder to cry on, a very, very highly intuned feminine energy with that water sign of Scorpio. He listens to hear you. He listens from a place of non-judgment and really makes you feel seen, makes you feel heard. But he also has that Mars impact. So this is a man that could have his own business. This is a man who could just really shine in his work because he has Leo in his 10th house, a Scorpio rising. This is a man that you can depend upon. This is a man that's going to be very protective of you. This is a man that is going to make sure that you are always safe, that you are always well taken care of. This is someone who's very loyal. So when two Scorpio risings get together, this makes for a beautiful relationship. I love Scorpio and Scorpio together. I believe that they're soulmates, you know. Because they understand each other in a way that 
say you're a Scorpio rising woman and you get with the Aquarius rising man. And you're going through a depression spell and you're upset because something happened at work or in your personal life and you're crying your eyes out. Aquarius man's going to be like, it's not that big a deal. Chill out. Or perhaps you're with the Gemini rising and I'm not, I'm not at all trying to be mean to air signs. I just know air signs because I have air with me and you're complaining to your Gemini rising partner that uh, you actually, you're not complaining. You're enraged. You're enraged by what has happened. And you're just, you have this raw, crazy animalistic rage within you. Your Gemini rising husband or partner is going to be like, whoa, not a big deal. Let it go. Whereas if you're with the Scorpio rising man or woman, you guys are going to understand the depths of your emotions because Scorpio is a water sign. Just like Cancer and Pisces, our emotions run very, very deep. So we understand that sadness can turn to depression. Anger can turn to rage. Happiness can turn into elation. You know, positivity can turn into optimism. That our emotions are amplified. Therefore, we hold space for each other. We understand that. And that's a beautiful thing. And that's why I believe Scorpios belong together. Because they'll understand you more than an air sign. Now, that's not to say that you have air in your chart. You're not going to be good with the Scorpio. That actually makes for really good communication. You know, I have Aquarius in my chart. And I've got along great with Scorpio risings because I'm a good communicator. Like, I, I know how to look at things from a very rational point, but also I have depth. And that's one thing that both Scorpio Risings have. They have depth and Scorpios love mystery. So when they're married to another Scorpio Rising or dating another Scorpio Rising, they love untangling the mystery in their partner. They love learning all these new different secrets around them. And once they build that trust, that foundation of trust, where they can exchange these secrets and nobody knows about them except for the two of them, it has a mutual bond and it's very beautiful. Now, I'm not saying that you need to unload every secret on your Scorpio rising partner. Don't make them your therapist. Yes, they are there to hear you. Yes, they are here to understand you. Yes, they hold beautiful, powerful feminine energy. But you should get your own therapist. Yeah, you should get your own therapist and let out all that, all that trauma, all that good stuff, and they will help you to regulate your emotions. They will give you practical ways. I love therapy. I've been in therapy for about like four to six months now. Yeah, it's been good. But anyway, Scorpio Risings, when they get together, they merge together. They are all or nothing. It is very rare that Scorpio Rising gets in a relationship and does not end up getting married to someone who also has Scorpio in their chart. They might mess around a little bit in their teenage years, 20s, you know, casually dating or whatever. Because they're just, you know, everyone does that in their 20s. But once they hit their 30s, 40s, or they just realize, I want a commitment. I want monogamy. And they have taken the time to evolve, to learn from their transformations, to heal themselves, to go to therapy, to do the work. Because you cannot expect someone else to complete you without giving yourself that completion. You cannot expect someone to give you happiness without giving yourself happiness. You cannot expect love from others without giving first giving yourself love. You must first become complete. And I don't mean to be preachy. I'm trying to relax a little bit. But this is a Scorpio Rising video. And I know you guys love intensity. So that's just my intensity coming out. You've got to work on yourself first, right? But once you've done all the work and you guys come together, it's a beautiful, beautiful exchange. The bedroom is going to be incredibly spicy. It's going to be very adventurous because you guys have Leo in your 10th house. And Leo likes to shine. Leo is the performer. Leo sees everything as a movie, as a play, as a big giant experience they're the star of the show so you guys are going to have a spiritual interaction in the bedroom a psychic connection in the bedroom and you guys are going to trust each other enough to be your raw authentic self together especially in marriage especially in a long-term relationship where you have that trust built up where you guys maybe you've been friends for a long time or usually you guys become best friends you know it is it's going to be really good and very nice and warm in the bedroom. And because of that Mars, that passion, you're going to ignite. 
and it's going to slow down. Then it's going to ignite, slow down. You're going to be in the kitchen. You're going to be in the bedroom. You're going to be on the stairs. It's going to be crazy. I don't want to, I don't want to get this video down for my monetization by getting a little too wild but yeah basically scorpio rising together very nice i like this a lot because you guys understand your emotions you guys are openly available emotionally available you're there for each other your shoulder to cry on you guys are good listeners but you guys are also a power couple because you're both ruled by mars you have the driving force to never give up to always persevere in spite of in spite of any obstacle you have in your life you keep going and you guys are really good encouragers because you have that intensity you see the potential in your partner you see your partner at their very best and their very worst and you love them throughout that scorpio sees the darkness within and accepts they see the darkness within themselves and they accept so i love scorpio risings together I think they're soulmates. <laughs> uh, if you're Scorpio rising and you enjoyed this video, drop the Scorpio emoji below. As always, I'm open for birth chart readings and tarot readings. You can see all that in the description box. I'll see you next one. Bye, guys.